Welcome to this first of three videos on Advanced Inventory Replenishment, or AIR for short. AIR is designed to accurately record and analyse inventory demand on a monthly, four-weekly or weekly basis. For each item, it will then predict stock demand for the coming period using one of a number of industry standard replenishment calculations. Item demand can be reviewed and maintained and the outcome uses a basis for automatically generating purchase orders using Dynamics GP purchase order generator. In this video we'll be looking at the basic principles and concepts of AIR, while in the second and third we will see it in day-to-day -day operation. There are two main ways of creating a purchase order in Dynamics GP, the PO generator screen and purchase order entry, where the user may have information on reports to help them decide what to purchase, but essentially it's a manual process and decision. The values on the resource planning maintenance window, which we see here, are the ones that are used by the PO generator. If the forward availability of inventory is less than 245, then the PO generator would suggest ordering up to 654, taking into account ordering units and order multiples where appropriate. So on the face of it we have an automated routine that can either tell us what we need. But how have we set 245 and 654 in the first place? In reality these figures will change for any number of reasons. It could be a new item trending up, a new account may commit to purchasing more, the item could be seasonal or superseded. A competitor may have been taken off the market. Any of these reasons would change our order quantities. Dynamics GP of course has nothing that updates any of these parameters automatically. Their maintenance is a manual process. With AIR, stock levels are determined by demand analysis and forecasting and are expressed in time rather than quantity. An inventory control is less likely to think about an absolute reorder point would more like to think in weeks or days. In other words, he thinks, I always want to have an absolute minimum of two weeks stock. My vendor lead time is notionally one week. I have a pattern of ordering from this vendor on a fortnightly basis. So logically, I will probably reorder when I am down to three weeks stock. We are looking at the window from AIR that shows how our stock levels have been calculated automatically based on time parameters combined with something called current weekly demand which is forecast to be 81.69. How we arrived at current weekly demand, we shall see in the second video. We have a policy that safety stock should not fall below two weeks, so two times 81 is 163. Lead time is seven days, so we should order no later than 21 days of stock, 245. We order every two weeks, so if I miss an order date, I may well go below reorder point in the next two weeks, so add a further 14 days to get line point of 35 days, a quantity of 408. If an item is below line point but above order point, then it's not essential I order it today, but it's likely to drop below order point before my next scheduled order placement date, so I may wish to include it in an order, especially if I need to fill a container or hit some other supplier threshold. Line point will become available to us in the PO generator as an alternative threshold for ordering. There's no hard and fast rule. The time parameters are user set. Other than lead time, they are typically policies that reflect the level of willingness to invest in stock to achieve high service levels. These time parameters can be set globally or for groups of items using simple routines. This screen shows how time parameters can easily be adjusted by range. There is also a wizard that can be used to simplify the initial setup process. The other time-based parameter is of course lead time. This can be set as a policy, but can be reviewed and reset if appropriate. This screen compares the actual lead times with the current lead time parameter and permits an override. In practice, the user may wish to retain the policy lead time rather than surrender to poor performance and push up reorder point and therefore expenditure as a result. What we have seen in this video is how to set our stock policies in time and use them to calculate safety order and order at two levels. In the next video, we will see how estimated weekly demand is calculated and the information that the buyer can make use of to better understand inventory demand. I hope you found this interesting. If you'd like to know more, please schedule your free demonstration today. Thank you.